Hello, Cameron McCormick at the Lucy Davies Golf Academy. I'm inside my Full Swing Golf Pro 2 widescreen simulator. Now I have a challenge for you. To take your skills to the next level, we need to be able to work the ball. That's right, left, left, right, and we need to be able to hit multiple trajectories, low, medium, and high. This challenge goes out to you. Once completed, I want you to post it on social media, tag me, tag Lucy, tag Full Swing, tag anyone you want. I wanna see that you've completed it. So we're gonna start with a draw side. This one, first one's gonna be a low draw where I'm gonna aim just a little off target to the right, move the ball back in my stance and create a shape and a trajectory that curves from low back to the left. Not a great first attempt, but it was shaping and so therefore, I'm satisfied with it. The next one's gonna be my stock draw. It's gonna be a mid trajectory where I'm gonna aim off to the right just a little bit. I'm gonna create that same draw curve shape. There she is. Hits the screen, I see it just like it's outdoor environment. It's the beauty of the full swing sim. And then the last draw shape is a super high one. I'm trying to get it a tucked pin. Here we go. Ball goes a little bit further forward in my stance. I've still got that off aim right alignment and launch that draw up in the air. Yep, and that's so beautiful. I can see that arc, that apex much higher than ball one and ball two. So I've got my three draws. One of them wasn't quite good enough on target, but since I hit my shapes, I advance. Now let's go to the fade side, the left to right, starting with the low one. Aim offline to the left, ball goes back a little bit, and I create that swing sensation. There we go, look at that thing curve, right back to the target. Low fade. Here comes the stock trajectory fade. I'm gonna go neutral ball position. Aiming offline to the left to get that ball started left. And it's a little higher, I chunked it a little bit. So I'm gonna have a do over on that one. I'll give you one do over as you go through this challenge. There's the mid trajectory. Oh, uh oh, that's a draw. Okay, and then by example, I'm gonna demonstrate the high fade here. Okay, offline to the left, ball goes a little bit further forward and I hit a high fade. And there she is. Amazing to be able to see again that, that apex much, much higher, ball flying in real time. So there it is, six ball flight challenge. And the beauty of doing things like this is you're extending your timeline, aren't you? No longer we are fixed to daylight where, okay, sun's down or sun's not up and we can't practice. We're not constrained by inclement weather. We're not constrained by geography. It's 15 minutes, it's 35 minutes to get to the golf course. It's in our living room or it's in our, our game room. It's at home. You can work on your game and you can improve outside of those three constraints. It's absolutely critical. And furthermore, when you're able to see the curve, when you're able to see the trajectory of the ball and we have that feedback of club delivery and ball flight, then we're able to read the feedback and become our own best coach. And that's what makes Full Swing Golf's infrared technology best in class because it picks up that golf ball in me. It shows us with such refined accuracy, trajectories and curves, club delivery, ball flight. It's gonna help your game and it's gonna help it immediately.